soul family welcome back to the matrix oracle in today's video we're going to channel your next glow up through this pick a card reading this is in alignment with the new moon in virgo that occurred september 2nd 2024 so i'm really excited about this we're going to prepare the piles and you'll have options to pick according to your zodiac sign as well if it's a new moon energy i personally would pick um, my moon placement but it can be your rising or it could be your sun okay we have pile number one Woo! <laughs> pile number two <laughs> so what's your next glow up and pile number three let's see what we have here let's create a little bit of space Okay, we have pile number one. Ooh, I love this. The tribe. Okay, so again, let's pick a card. What's your next glow up? Pile number two. We have time to go. Mmm, where are we going? <laughs> and pile number three. Unfinished symphony. Okay, what's your next glow up? Pile number one, two, and three. Let's look at those zodiac signs. So again, sun, moon, rising. Sometimes I look, I like to look at my um, north node. That could be something that speaks to you. Okay, pile number one, we have Aries, Taurus, we have Libra and we have Scorpio. Okay, all right. Pile number two. Okay, I'll take those and those. Whoop. We have Gemini. We have Sagittarius. We have Aquarius and we have Cancer. Perfect. The last four. Okay, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn, and Pisces. All right. So take your time to breathe and follow your intuition. You can pick according to what calls you in at this time. This is about your next glow up. All right, let's prepare the piles. And if you already chose, you can skip to the messages. Pile number one. Let's shuffle and get some more cards for you. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to be patient here. What is your next glow up? Those energies are strong. Um, yeah, that's what I feel for you. All right, okay. Up, oh, even this one. What's your next glow up? Okay, for this new cycle of 28 days, how exciting. Okay, all right y'all want for this and we'll use the tarot cards to get clarification all right so that's going to be for you pile number one let's get ready for pile number two what is your next glow up i was gonna say blow up <laughs> all right exciting exciting let's see okay all right i'll take them all We'll see where this leads us. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. And we'll take those as extra. I feel like this is extra guidance. So I'm going to organize it a little bit different. We'll use the tarot cards for clarification. Pile number two, I'll just make it like that. So I remember. I remember. September. Okay, well, we're in September. <laughs> we're in channeling this. Okay, very musical here. All right, that's for you, pile number two. Pile number three, let's get ready for your pile. Okay, so what's your next glow up? 
What's your next glow up? Pile number three. Okay, that's a lot, but I feel those and this one. Okay, okay. Yes. And, I don't know, this feels like it's calling my name. Okay, that's all. <laughs> and we'll use the tarot cards for clarification and questions. Okay, pile number three. You're all set and ready to go. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to this pick a card reading regarding your next glow up. So what's coming up for you? You chose the beautiful tribe card with the giraffe energy and spirit animal. Kissing on the third eye. Hmm. Beautiful soul gathering energy here. That's already the first impression. If you chose according to your zodiac sign, Aries, Taurus, Libra, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, maybe North Node, up to you, okay? All right, let's look at those cards. Pile number one, what's your next glow up? Live the question, curiosity, open your mind, live into it. Wow, look at this. Whoa, do you see? This looks like Ganesh. This looks like Ganesh is the energy. The remover of obstacles. Oh, wow. Okay. Powerful, powerful, powerful glow up here. A lot of desert energy. Mountains. Let's see what else we have. Archaea Constance, bring heaven to earth. Wow. Oh, you're, you're on the mission here. <laughs> Pile number one. With the number 11. Archangel Raziel, with learn, change, grow. A lot of purple, and look at this. Holding the earth. I'm hearing metaphysical. Something about you working with the metaphysical realm and understanding. Hmm. Archangel Sandalphon, center and ground. Wow. And Archangel Raphael, prioritize your health. move the stones and we're going to create more space yeah. we have blessed oh my look at all this purple what an opportunity uh opportunist time for you blessed times ahead imagine and yang okay so pile number one your next glow up is definitely through your embodiment of your authenticity your authentic self it seems that you've already done a lot of energy work on yourself to be at that level where you're entering a phase where you're not going to feel like you need to translate yourself anymore people are going to get you people are going to get you from your aura from your glow you're walking through a phase that is all about living heaven on earth and this heaven comes from you having and continuing to work on feeling blessed feeling lucky feeling gratitude and continuing to envision the best for yourself for the ones you love 
and everyone on earth. There's some inspired actions that are part of this next glow up that we'll review, okay? But I feel this is why I put it on the side here. But let me see what I want to share more. Being in nature reminds you of your own nature. There is something about your perception that is shifting. You're seeing all those type of pastels, colors. They're very much connected to the aurora. And, you know, the support and all the light codes, solar codes that we're receiving that are a precious information to bring humanity more peace, more love, more harmony. Your next phase and no, your glow up is about this embodiment. You're definitely shining in a different way. You, you're, what you're envisioning is manifesting. You're going to be called in this next glow up to follow your intuition. You know, things and the steps, you know, the steps that are going to be taken. I do feel they're going to come step by step. As if, you know, it's not like a choreography that the cosmos is giving you. Hey, you do this, 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 this. It's going to be like, take that step and then move that that way and then open your arm and then swirl your hips and then you know it's 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 a whole flow so i would strongly encourage any type of energy work that brings movement that helps you stay grounded okay so it's almost like you're working imagine you're waking up in the morning and you're working on your gratitude and just uh, either writing or just encanting, affirming how blessed you feel, how lucky you are, all the things that you're already paying forward and the things that are already here. Um, and in that energy that you channel through the early rising, ground it step by step as you walk your life. Okay, this is part of your next glow up as if you're understanding how the nurturing of your vibration as you rise in the morning is part of your broadcast, is part of bringing into manifestation some of the things that you've been wanting to learn about manifestation. You know, we're always vib we're all we're vibration, we're energy. That means we're always moving, always em emitting, always broadcasting a certain type of information, okay? But here there's probably a particular goal, okay? A particular outcome that in this next phase, the next glow up, okay, you want to manifest and that's going to require you to go step by step because there are certain things that, you know... It, you're going to learn how to move with the cosmos in different ways. And this is attracting your soul tribe, your soul alignment. It's attracting through your curiosity all the lessons, all the spiritual growth and change that keep you moving through your vision. Okay, so that's what I feel. It's like... Stay curious about your self-expression, you know, uh, be open about the new things that your heart is going to call you to experience, to try. Because in that phase, whether it's like be beginner's mind and you're just learning new skills or things that you already have a good handle on it, there's growth within it, no matter what. That means even if you feel like you're already a good, uh, you know, if it was dancer, okay, and you have danced for 12 years, there's something new that's coming through your practice. And it could be, you know, the, it could be, it is 
a channeling, a something that is particularly a, attached, uh, synchronized with your soul's desire, your soul's oath, your purpose. Okay, so let's see if we can get some clarification or just some guidance about those steps, those cosmic steps to <laughs> tap dancing I'm hearing. <laughs> no, yeah. That's interesting. Some of you maybe want to try tap dance. I, I don't know how, but I just saw some movie recently and I saw tap dancing and I was like, oh my God, I did tap dancing for six months. I don't know what got into me. I can't remember how I did this, but I did. It was fun. <laughs> okay. So the seven of cups, you know, the seven of cups offers many, many quantum possibilities but this particular because i chose this particular deck you know this particular seven of cups is showing a dragon the dragon is the expression of the ascended master of the reptilian brain the brain the part of your brain that needs to feels that it has to do anything to survive but here she's writing you know that means like there's an upgrade in your nervous system, I feel, that is taking you on to a new direction. You know, I'm feeling like, you see how this cup is emanating this rainbow? As if you're going to be following the rainbow, following the things that light you up, following this, 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 the colors of your soul. I'm hearing Cindy Lauper with a, I see a true color, that's why I love you. And yeah, don't be afraid to let them shine, true colors. So it's very much about true colors. I can't remember the words, but it's so lovely. Oh, wow. Some of you, I feel like I could be um, a song that helps you activate this, okay? Um, oh, I love when they come. <laughs> I love when the songs come. I wish I knew the words, <laughs> but, but you know what? That's what it's saying. Like when I said, I wish I knew the words, those are particular to you, you know? Your true colors and the colors of your life and the way you're going to paint it, um, it's particular to your soul. and. That's part of the activation. So some of the steps are, the steps are through your authenticity, through your choices, but choices that are based on things that light you up, okay? Because we're talking about your glow up and boy, do you feel alive. I love this. I love this for you, pile number one. That aliveness through gratitude, through dancing with the stars. Wait, if that's a show. <laughs> Some of you, maybe you're trying to apply for, you know, this type of show, okay? But yeah, wow, interesting. We have here the Four of Cups. Okay, as far as those steps. What's interesting is that I feel... When, one second, I'm trying to look at this moon phase. Yes, it's the last quarter and I'm going to, there's something that's coming up and I'm going to get my phone here to look at my moon calendar for you. Where's my moon calendar? There we go. Okay. The future. There's something about that. Okay, so it's September 24th. Okay, there might be something around that date. Maybe some of you, it's a birthday. I don't know. There's something here. Um... There's, there's an unfolding. As soon as you're going to listen to this, there's an unfolding. Now, if you're watching this in different timeline, I'm looking how many days. That's about like 21 days. <gasps> 21 days. You know what that means? That's what we rehearse for new habits. We say in 21 days, you can pick up a new habit. I feel as some of you, there's a certain routine, a certain repetition, something that's good for you, um, that you have to give it a try. Because the Four of Cups is usually, you know, where she's not looking at the cups behind. 
there's there's a the universe is trying to present to you something very unique uniquely yours that will really spark you alive okay and it's saying like take the time for the cycle to unfold to rehearse some of the things that already light you up okay oh wow oh yeah ace of pentacles I have to mention it because I'm feeling it. Some of you, it's connected to learning about crystals and Reiki. I'm feeling it. It's not for everyone. Um, could be also, remember I talked about metaphysical. Some of you working with alchemy, working because here we have the pentacle, which has all the elements of the universe. It could be working on metaphysical principles. And the Knight of Pentacles. You see, step by step. Step by step, this energy. Another pentacle. There's something, you know, he's wearing a pentacle. His staff is a pentacle. Um, there's stones on the ground. More stones. Again, it, it feels like the universe is going to give you clues as you go along the way the key is through activating your nervous system you're already on this way but part of your next glow up is to truly embody this authentic self and version of yourself that is going to be so fulfilling because it will attract everything that feels like home to you. Yeah. Beautiful activation of your senses, I'm hearing. Yeah. Let's see if we have anything else as far as a message for pile number one and their next glow up. Is there anything else we can share about this uh, next phase, next glow up for pile number one? Ooh, two, two. Okay, some of you, number 22, or repetition of twos. Oh my God. 22. Okay, some of you, if a twos are, or repetition of twos are big, uh, it could be that you have a life path number two or 11. It could be really something about that. But we have here the two of wands and the two of pentacles. What I'm feeling here is that for your next glow up phase, okay, this card speaks of, you know, you're going into a new direction and you're going to want to organize yourself, especially with the two of pentacles. So you have space for the things that you're being called to express, to try, to study. Remember, learn, change and grow. There's some spiritual growth through this new embodiment, through the activation of your nervous system, okay? So make sure that you are well organized and do your, your balance. I'm feeling also balance in your health, enough exercise, enough water, enough sleep, you know, self-care. There's a, there's a lot of balance for you. Again, it's, it's imagine you're just dancing, you know, you need a certain poise, a certain balance through this period of time. And that's where you're going. There's a certain self-mastery that's coming, but there's a lot of new. You know, it's almost like you are entering this space, pile number one, because of all the things you've already worked on and that you're manifesting. Some of you, I want to uh, share with you that I do have the YouTube Soul Tribe membership. And I've started merging something that is very dear to me is through all the years, um, my, you know, uh, certification as uh, a trainer in sports medicine and corrective exercise. So I'm now merging my sound engineering knowledge with the tuning forks, the breath work, with movements, with working through the meridian lines through the body to ground certain of those energies that we're channeling together. I already have a new moon uh, in Virgo cosmic alignment energy session. So if you want more details, please check it out below. Okay, so let's see what we have as far as a frequency. Some of you want to work 
um, on yourself on this or see what could trigger more of this authenticity. We have, ooh, interesting, the bladder frequency, allowing serenity and patience. Okay, yeah, um, this could require some of your patience because when you're learning something new, you don't want to rush the process. Okay, that's that's interesting uh, also because the bladder is a meridian that is connected in Chinese medicine with astrology to Libra. Okay, so I feel that um, and, and Libra needs patience and serenity to be poised, to be balanced. So some of you, if that's something that you struggle with, especially with you having to plan some some really skillfully, uh, the space for your embodiment to come about in even greater ways. Um, make sure you don't allow yourself to um, feel overwhelmed. You always have the time to pause. You know, sometimes it just takes a breath. Allow yourself to give yourself this space and this time. I'm sending you so many blessings. This feels so exciting. This phase feels wonderful with new skills as if you're just, you know, you're already gifted. I can feel this, um, but you're just activating more and more through also your body, your sacred temple, which is such a beautiful thing, which is also part of bringing heaven on earth. So that's what I have for you. Pile number one, please leave me a comment if it's you. Uh, I love to connect with you. I love to see how that resonates. And uh, yes, remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Welcome to your messages pile number two. Let's look at your next glow up. Remember, if you didn't watch the preparation, I had extra cards for you as an extra guidance. So I'm going to put them on the side, okay? Uh, this is the time to go card. Really feels like you're going on to a new adventure altogether, a new timeline, new, 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 spanking new. Really, I love this. I love this. Okay, and if you chose it through your zodiac sign, you have Sagittarius, you have Gemini, we'll put them aside. We have Aquarius and Cancer. Okay, so let's look at your cards now, pile number two. We have, oh, I can't, I can't, yes, I can, oh my God, some of you, it's just so exciting, stone of destiny, life path, ambition, passion, yes, look at this, is that the uh, Excalibur sword, the sword of truth, like that's where you're going, like, do I need more cars, yes, of course I do, <laughs> you were wondering what's your next glow up it's your life path it's your destiny unfolding it's a, a phase that is full of passion wow i'm excited i'm excited i'm sorry i'm not sorry <laughs> some of you i feel like um uh, i don't know i feel that some of you uh food this is for this new moon in Virgo. So we have 28 days. There is something really, 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 really exciting um, that's going to occur. Yes. Yes. Okay. We have Archaea, Purity, Cleanse, and Detoxify. Look at all this source energy. Archangel Shamuel, be what you want to attract. Archangel Zadkiel, strengthen your boundaries. Such like very similar colors here. Very upper chakra. Oof. Yes, and heart. Archangel Ariel, with connect with nature. Okay. Let's look at those oracle cards. Clean it up. Okay. We'll put this here. <laughs> Double clean up. TikTok. Okay. 
And we have by the book with the number 11. And chaos and conflict. Okay. All right. I love this. I love this for you, pile number two, because it just feels like this new glow up is like, <laughs> have you ever watched those body revenge? I can't remember. So some of those shows where, you know, something happened, someone left you and you had to pick yourself up. You had to pick yourself up and you transformed. Now I feel that this, this is something that occurred and where you're at now is on the brinks. You're entering that phase where you're coming out with this new glow. Okay. There was something about divine timing. Okay. As far as this, maybe some of you, you were in a relationship, in a job, in a situation that maybe you held on to, okay, because time to go, held on to, and it, whether you decided to leave or things fell apart, it was divinely timed because that situation was dimming your light. It was dimming your light. Some of you, you don't realize, but it kind of, um, some of you, you may have like, experience different timelines or different quantum possibilities because you people please or you let yourself be influenced uh, by wanting to please others, by wanting to fit in, maybe even in a company, in your family, but it was dimming your nature and your next glow up. Mm, 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 mm. I'm hearing this girl is on fire. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've been hearing songs, which I find really interesting. Uh, maybe that's going to be a song that can help you activate as you go through this month. I love it. Um, yeah, because there's there's something you you had to go through a lot of cleanup, and some of you, if you're still in the process of cleaning up, go ahead clean up because if you were scared of what's coming after mm -mm. I mean this is no joke this is this is everything that everyone wants to be on their highest path be on purpose find their destiny and I feel like you were held back or you were holding yourself back and you might have to gone through a lot of chaos some of you with like by the book it could have been um you know through breaking karmic chains with the type of relationships you attracted it could have stemmed from what you inherited as a child but i feel that your next glow up is that you're not caring anymore to fit in that mold okay because look i mean wait this zebra, okay, this zebra is losing all this. It actually has the coloring of a giraffe. So I don't know what's the next step, but I think like this is a representation of like you were trying to fit in in a situation, relationship, role, uh, or label that did not that did not match your frequency. That was something you had to experience. Okay, because it taught you a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you had, uh, you learned a lot about boundaries, okay? How to speak up for yourself. I don't know why, but I feel it with, especially here, uh, Archaea Purity with that necklace, okay? Around her throat and almost going into her heart. A lot of heart activation and solar plexus hard heart it's almost as if you know um there was so much that one could take that was unsuited unfitted to your um to your soul it's almost like uh, you know uh causing aggravation irritation to your soul some of you boy you probably develop patience <laughs> a lot of patience 
But now is not the time for patience. Now is the time for change. Now is the time for destiny. Now is the time to walk by your own rules. Now is the time for this highest timeline and this glow up to shine. To And with the song, the girl on fire, it's just like light up the path. Okay. I feel like some of you working with your chakra, your kundalini energy could be super supportive. Okay. Working or doing energy work in nature, super supportive here. Okay. Now let's look at those two cards that were like extra for the guidance. We have, oh, wow. The sanctuary, harmony and balance, joy and contentment. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Oof, I get chills just thinking about this. Some of you, I don't know if you've watched Outlander. It's a show on Netflix. Okay. But this, this woman, she can travel through the stones. Okay. And look at this. Through the work that you are and have accomplished as far as cleaning up. Some of you, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, getting um, away from gossip, drama, chaos. Okay. You're able to reach that vibration because in the show, there's a certain buzzing that the travelers of the stone can hear. And this is what's awaiting. So you're going to be traveling to your highest timeline. Uh, this rainbow all of a sudden is reminding me of the tarot card, the Ten of Cups, that has a rainbow that shows all the Ten Cups with all the colors. It's like you're going to go wherever it is that your heart desires. Mm. Some of you, I just feel like if you want to go and check out the, the uh, Virgo season reading, it was about activating some major potential here. Yeah, it, maybe it is quantum leaping, time traveling. Mm, I don't know. Okay, and then we have, what? no, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. No, you're not going to believe me. Singing stones. Transmit your vibration. Use your voice. What? You are the vibration. The voice. The voice. Okay, some of you... <laughs> it reminded me again to show the voice. Some of you, if you are uh, singers or musicians, you know, it's, it's really strong. You could just... It, it, or just someone that has a message to spread. Your vibration is going to be heard. You're going to step. That's your next glow up. Your vibration is being heard. So rehearse those songs. Rehearse those affirmations. Rehearse the visualization of where you want to go. By the way, uh, in that show... Um, at some point, you know, they're traveling back in time and uh, the ones from the future are traveling back and then they're thinking, oh, this, those are too dangerous of times. There's going to be a war, whatever. So they go and travel back thinking they're going to go home to their time. But because they were thinking about home, they actually didn't go anywhere because they were home. Okay. So I feel like for you, um, you practicing affirming, singing, dancing, self-expressing, what feels in alignment for you. For you, especially here with the TikTok, I saw it as like the social media platform. You could have a TikTok or you could have a social media. Just make sure you allow yourself to self-express because this vibration, maybe in the past you were, mm, you know, scared about what your family, your friends, bosses or whatever would think if you're we're letting, I'm hearing letting loose, I don't know, <laughs> just letting yourself express what you feel, what you want, okay, because here it says, be what you want to attract, and that's your next glow up, I, you know, <laughs> I just saw a real recently, it's in, it's French, um, but uh, it's a, per, it's a comic that says, like, you know, it, people are calling the universe for complaints and this woman has struggled with boundaries and the angel the universe is saying you know just do the 
shut up dance and there's like the um, uh, black eyed peas song that's coming up it's like shut up shut up just shut up shut up and i feel like this is something that you know you have to quiet those negative voices that maybe influenced you in the past and i really feel like you're not going to care anymore and if you still do know that your vibration is taking you exactly on your life purpose. Some of you, if that's dear to you, if you've been feeling stuck or you felt stuck, your timeline is waiting. You're here watching this, okay? Um, let's get some advice for you, okay? How can we support pile number two about... <laughs> with the shut up dance. Um, just how can we support you, pile number two, okay? Let's ask the universe for guidance about that. We have the Knight of Cups. Mm, interesting. There's some illumination that's coming for you um, in the full moon. Let me give you the date. I have my moon calendar here. Uh, September 17th. Okay, there's there's some type of illumination. I Is there an eclipse soon? Let me check that for you if I can do this quickly. Okay. Um, let me yes, check it. there is super full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, September 7th. You're eclipsing. Okay, so that's what. <laughs> okay, if you're watching this and it's before, okay, that's whatever was troubling you. Divine timing. This is going to be removed for you. Obviously, you and your participation as far as bringing the light of your consciousness onto whatever could have blocked you in the past is really important okay now if you're watching this in a different time know that it's at the next moon full moon okay i mean come on ace of swords the universe is saying don't worry yeah your voice and your vibration and all the healing and all the things that are coming to the light for you and the things that are going to be eclipsed, <clears throat> especially I feel throat chakra. Some of you definitely, uh, for the throat, it's connected to the planet uh, Mercury. Okay, if you're working with your life force, there's many different schools of beliefs. But you know, when I have tried many different variation of working with Kundalini and the planets, uh, this was the most powerful where. Uh, Mercury was associated with the throat because this is the magician cards and we know with Mercury, we know that the words are creating worlds. And I feel that, in, and you are getting so many, you know, uh, messages about your voice, about how much needed this expression of you through your vessel, through your expression is needed. Okay, so the universe is saying there's something that is fully being eclipsed so you can enter this beautiful glow up phase okay oh my i mean like i i can't with you like the full like th this this is this is where you're going so you're seeing this as you know an appreciation of the things maybe that you had to face and the things that you had to and I said face slash phase, okay? Because they were phases of your life you had to experience. But this is also a time where you're divinely invited and intervene to totally be on purpose, to be meeting with destiny. Mm -hmm. Some of you, and I'll mention it because I heard it, it could be a relationship. Sometimes it is about meeting uh, your destiny in terms of relationship, romantic, but it could be also the relationships, the events, the situations that fully align you to your purpose. She's wearing a necklace, which is, you know, falling straight onto the upper heart. It's a very important um, placement for you with all that we're seeing, uh, heart and throat. And those are two planets, Venus and Mercury. If some of you like to work with sound, uh, I've recently started to um, create those cosmic alignment energy session where I not only use my sound engineering knowledge, but also my 
uh, you know, sports medicine uh, certification to allow this energy work to travel. I do have Mercury um, frequency alignment and I have the Venus also currently as we're channeling this in Libra, which is phenomenal where we're, you know, opening up the womb through the muscle of the soul, which is the psoas, okay? And I really feel as some of you, if that's something that you want to practice because you want to clear, there's no more of that zebra, chaos, duality, black or white. You're getting into a greater vision, greater timeline. You'll have more details in uh, the description box. Okay, so let's see if you want to work with some of the frequencies as part of the channel to support you, pile number two. Okay, so sophisia weaving are part of, okay, and the beacon of light. Okay, so beacon of light, shining bright, <laughs> so star above. I don't know what I'm saying, but I feel like some of you, you might be good at poetry, incantation. The beacon of light is a frequency that holds a prayer the cosmos prayer that is said to be um, from the words of Jesus. Okay, so some of you, uh, if that's something that you want to try, that would be supportive to really align you to your highest destiny here. And some of you, if you have access to the YouTube membership, I do have in the Starseed Activation Music, something called the Solfagio Weaving that can help you weave some of maybe the energy gaps, you know, uh, or even weaving between the heart and the throat so you can energetically uh, really feel that you can self-express. So that's if you like to work with the frequencies on the channel. Oh my, pile number two. Your next glow up is so exciting. I love this energy of so much truth, of self-expression. I feel as some of you, it might have been really heavy on your heart. Um, even like, I feel like even manifested maybe in the past through, um, you know, sore throats, uh, you know, or, you know, chest um, problems or anything that it feels heavy, anxiety, um, and this is a new phase. This is going to be eclipsed. I'm loving this for you. If that's you, pile number two, please let me know in the comments. I love to read uh, you and know that you resonate with this. And please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Many loving blessings your way, pile number two. Namaste. Welcome, pile number three. Let's look at your next glow up. Oh my God, I'm excited. It says here, unfinished symphony. Just with this energy, I feel that it's a continuation of what something you've already started that is dear to your heart. That's the next level. You're rising up. If you chose according to your zodiac sign, we have here Leo, Virgo, we're going to put it aside, Pisces and Capricorn. Okay, so let's look at your card. We have pave your own way. Leadership, courage, forge, don't follow. Wow. Wow, look at this. I love this energy. Step by step. But it's a, it's a step by step. It's almost like you're creating those steps. You create a mountain always reminds me of spirit. You know, you're, you're creating with spirit. Um, here, th this next glow up, uh, pile number three. The cave. Retreat, time out, self-care, slow down. This is how you're going to know the steps. Through introspection. I, I feel like this person you see here, this aura, it's like they're working on their aura. And this is a masculine figure, so this is to refresh the mind. Because your information is going to come through, you know, through that space that you're creating. So you will have to still your mind. So the steps can appear. Wow. Really beautiful energy. Your aura is guiding you. 
the things that attract you and that are attracted to you as a result. So this is why I feel, you know, as you self-care and you honor your auric field, you're going to be able to attract <clears throat> the elements, the synchronicities from the universe that are meant to meet you halfway because of your inner work. Some of you, I want to, you know, share this with you right now because I'm seeing it with the aura. Um, the, this energy for this glow up is around the new moon in Virgo. I also offer cosmic alignment energy sessions. And in that new moon in Virgo, we're doing aura breathing. It's been fantastic. The amount of energy and just sensation. Okay, so some of you are interested. That's something you can look for the information uh, in the description box. All right, let's look at your cards. Whoa. Like, okay, your next glow up, like no kidding, abundance. I didn't even know this card was there. Step into overflow. And I feel called to put it here. The amount, oof, I get chills everywhere, oof especially my legs it's your 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 next glow up is for your connection to source it's something you already started and you're already you know into a certain flow you're getting to a level where it's overflowing and that's the cup that you want to share from the overflow not from the cup that cup is for you you know it's it's interesting, um, I feel called to share this with you because I feel time is part of the process, okay? Um, through Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius season, we are rehearsing the Ace of Cups, which is a card that has this cup. I always feel the energy of the Holy Grail. You know, this cup that is overflowing, that's never running out, okay? So I feel that this is going to really take shape and form your next glow up through those three seasons, zodiac season, okay? Oh, wow, look at this. Balance symbol, love will find a way. Feels very Aquarius here, even though there's three lines. Okay, some of you, I feel called to share it, but working with symbols working with runes, working with ancient uh, expression, you know, maybe I'm, I'm feeling the onk, the onk energy, um, especially if you're sensitive to receiving information, touching certain expression, certain geometry. What you have started and what's taking this new expression, this new rise up, this new glow up, okay? You started it with love. And love will always be part of the source that is going to inspire you and create those new steps. So pour more love. Pour more love into yourself. And the overflow is going to occur every which way. Pile number three. Oh, wow. Archangel Metatron, remember who you are. Some of you, if you don't know, uh, when you work with the direction of the universe, uh, the compass and the archangels, Archangel Metatron is connected to the North Node. So it's saying that in this next glow up, you're going to receive a lot of information, a lot of sacred knowledge, a lot of sacred symbolism, uh, that are connected to a part of you, an extension of you that already knows this. Already, is a, it, the steps are going to take you courage. When you need courage, bring more love. When you need more love, bring it more to yourself. And when you do, this overflow will always show you and remind you how beautiful, loving, shining, glowing you are. Yeah, I feel that you're, because of the courage and the fact that it's unfinished, you're entering a, a season, a glow up that 
requires you to continue your endeavor, continue deepening all that you've already deepened so far. Yeah, it's 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 really abundant here. Oh wow, I love oh I love when I receive this card from this deck leg up um, because it's it's support from the from the divine. It's divine support. But I'm just reminded uh, something from spirit. I do have a deck that I work with that is an animal deck, and the polar bear is associated to the star card. Okay, so there's something here about you achieving uh, something that was meant for you to achieve always because it was part of your stars, part of your natal chart, your star map. I feel like I want to put it here as an alignment. The universe will always confirm to you through this phase how loved and lovable you are. Peace. I feel this is here. There is new creation. You see here, there's, like, there's you, you, through your peace, through your being poised and calm, through all the healing that you've achieved, but also all the healing that might show up and come up, you're starting this, this overflowing that you can pour back into yourself. Okay, I feel I want to mention this to you, pile number three. Um, some of you... Maybe you used to pour into other people's cup from your cup. You used to overgive, overgivers, overpleasers, and you were running on empty. You might have, you know, really run on empty, but you've already changed that momentum. But it is a reminder that the greatest gift that you can do is using your own you know like that connection you have to source is helping you channel certain things okay apply the knowledge to you first serve yourself first with that cup drink from your cup feel the love of that cup and the rest will come forward wow see you're gonna go the distance it, it feels like this ne next glow up is asking of you it's a step up <laughs> So all the skills that you've already developed, you're going to need them. And that's why when you're going to need to, uh, you know, go the distance, persevere, the self-care is highly important, highly important. And thinker. Mm. You know what I feel here with the number 44 in the, in the angles of the Zodiac, the number 44 is a placement that speaks of inner conflict that you know people that have displacement which is five to ten degrees scorpio okay if you have that in your chart you will have to overcome your inner wars and what it's saying here is that um continue bringing peace to your mind continue focusing on love Continue on overcoming any conflicts that you might uh, start fueling with the, like the mind might start, okay? Almost like you're trying, it just soothe it with love. Almost like I heard, kill it with kindness. Super, super gentle with yourself because this is an energy that is part of giving you the, 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 the I'm, I'm hearing it like, the power to move uh, forward with this. Yeah. Okay. Can we have some clarification or details about this, not just glow up, but rise up or level up, step up for pile number three? Okay, what does pile number three need to hear about this um, rise up? Okay. We have, it's interesting, when I was looking at the portion of your reading, it, it was 11 and 44, okay? Um, sacred numbers of repetition. Maybe for you, that's going to be 
uh, part of the symbol or the synchronicity, seeing repetition of uh, ones or four to remind you that you're being encouraged to pour more love into yourself, to be shown the steps of this new glow up phase because abundance is incoming. But it's like, it, it feels like a, you're building a momentum here and it wants you to be brave and continue this momentum. Page of Swords. Love it. Let me pull it on first. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. The Five of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. You know, I was wondering what was that energy here for the Five of Pentacles, but when I saw the couple, there's something about the connection to your inner child, okay? Because there's a man, there's a woman, and there's a baby in that, okay? Um, your, your guidance is showing you that as you rise up, as you step up, your truth, your courage, your leadership, because that was part of this, forge, don't follow, okay? Trust in your inner guidance. There is a big offer. This is divine. Look at this, under the divine, under the symbol, under the north node. This is, this is meant for you, okay? This is meant for you. And you're going to find it through your connection to your inner child, through self-care, self-love, and that means also practicing your hobbies, you know, things that you like to do, not just work, 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 and also spending time uh, with your loved ones. There's a union here of yin and yang that I feel. Can we get more details about this energy? There's a lot of, um, I feel like unity that wants to come forward. Oh, wow. Okay, the chariot. Interesting. There's a change with the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I feel that some of you, okay, especially with the card of the thinker that I mentioned to you with the number 44 and this, it's like you had to work very hard on maybe your mental health, uh, removing some negative programmings. You know, when I'm saying this, I remember when I created the super empath playlist because I so needed it. Um, all the mantras that I'm using in this playlist, in all those frequency videos, they're to remove negative conditionings. So for you, I really feel that I want to share this, you know, as part of um, something that can support you. And when I looked, <laughs> when I looked at the deck for this, I have two cards. Uh, one is activate ba psychic boundaries. Okay. Which is part of the super empath and the yin yang playlist, the frequency healing. This is part of a playlist and this is part of the playlist. You might want to make sure that you rehearse your own energy boundaries. You rehearse um, you know, feeling aligned, yin and yang, feminine, masculine, heart and mind, so you can bring forward more of that energy, because we have this overflow that wants to come forward, okay? Let's see, once you transcend, okay, some maybe of those efforts, can we get more details about this glow up, leg up, step up. <laughs> okay, three of pentacles. I love this. This is working with source. You know, this is, you're, you're practicing, okay, what you're doing, um, pile number three. You're practicing how to co-create with source. How to never, uh, I'm not going to say never run on empty, but yeah, never run on empty like you did before. Because some of you have the tendency to 
overgive um, because spirit is going to be by your side. And that's what you're practicing. And there's definitely an energy of craft, woman, manship in this. You know, you're practicing an art, whatever that is. Remember, unfinished symphony? You already started. You should already, if you chose this path, you should already know what this is all about. Okay. If that's you, pile number three, I would love to hear about this, you know, in the comments uh, below. Yeah. Continue your art. It is part of your heart. It is, but it's, it's also, it's destined, you know? So it's almost like it should give you, it should give you the, 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 the strength that you're needing. Maybe some of you, it's going to require like, you know, some time, uh, to put aside, to schedule so it can come to life because we have the Ace of Pentacles, something that wants to come to life. And the only thing that I could see that could, you know, um, Trip you would be the mind. Don't let the mind trip you, pile number three. Is there any guidance for pile number three for their mind tripping? <laughs> Is there any guidance for pile number three with their mind? Okay. Yes, I love this. Be prepared. Organize. Two of wands. Prepare. You know, the, the, your, this, this glow up is part of the extension of already something you've started. There's such a new dawn of something you know is going to be successful. Okay. And again, with the judgment, it's, it's meant for you. It's meant to happen. But your mind will try to maybe discourage you or reverse back to its old template Okay, if you're not feeling organized, it feels like organization is really important. Uh, with the crystals here, I feel that um, your environment in the cave uh, invite crystals, invite incense, invite you know things that make your environment feel cozy, homey, that reflect your energy. That's what I have for you, pile number three. Whoa, look at the spread. This is awesome. I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.